Well, good morning, Whitman Wildcats. We are glad you're here today. It's time for our daily announcements. We're from Mr. Netherfield's sixth grade class. Today is January 11th, 2024. Zoe, what are we having for lunch today? Today we are having beef chili or vegetarian bean chili and garden salad with cucumbers and red pepper strips, Italian or ranch dressing, cornbread loaf, peach cup, local ice cream, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's menu, or Tuesday's menu, I should say, breakfast for lunch, whole grain pancakes and chicken sausage patties, or whole grain pancake and egg patties, and roasted deli potatoes, syrup, ketchup, fresh baby carrots, 100% tangerine orange juice, fresh fruit bowl, and your choice of milk. Maddie, what can we expect with the weather today and for Tuesday? Today we can expect a low of 25 degrees and a high of 21 degrees. Tomorrow has a low of negative three and a high of one. And today we can expect six to seven inches of snow. We have no birthdays today. <laughs> and now some announcements from our principal, Ms. Clemens. Good morning, everyone. I gl I'm glad that you made it safely to school this morning with all the snow out there and the snow that's due to come today. So I hope you brought your boots and your snow pants and your hat and gloves because I think you're going to need them. And like Maddie said, next week is going to get cold. So for sure, dig out your hats, your gloves, your mittens. I really shouldn't see any more Crocs on your feet when you come in the door. Like maybe once you get to school, you can put your Crocs on, but we shouldn't be wearing them out in the snow because uh, snow can get through those holes. If you get frostbite on your feet or your socks are going to get wet. And that's not good to be sitting in wet socks all day long. So wear some proper shoes while we have the snow going on. It's really important. Um, today, we have some different things happening in our building. The spelling bee, which Miss Amy is going to tell you about here in a minute. We have, um, oh, I think that's about it. We have some volleyball games and basketball games going on Saturday at 2 p.m. We have our middle school volleyball game at Burdick School. 3 p.m. We have our fourth and fifth graders playing basketball over at Wedgwood. And at 4 p.m., we have our middle school basketball team taking on another team at South Division. So before you head out, though, listen to check the website. Check to make sure that the games are still going on because the weather is supposed to be bad and we are supposed to get um, some snow on today and a Saturday. So before you head out, check the weather forecast um, and make sure that the games are still going on. <laughs> Like I said, we really want to make sure that we're being safe. And speaking of that, with the snow out at recess, we are not to make snowballs. We are not to throw snow at other people. We are not to be wrestling in the snow. The snow is to stay on the ground. You can roll it. You can make a snowman. But we are not to pick up the snow and throw it at other people. If you do that, then you will um, have a consequence and have to talk with me. So let's make sure that the snow stays on the ground and we are safe outside because if you make a snowball and you throw it at somebody it's got a rock in it it's got a piece of ice in it you could really um, injure yourself or that other person so let's make sure snow, snow stays on the ground i was really happy to hear about the middle school students who were out there skiing at uh their recess on thursday mr hamilton shared some photos with me that i'm going to put on our web page so very cool that they got that opportunity out there so, Ms. Amy, that's all I have for us today. All right, just a couple things. A reminder, uh, grades three through five Spelling Bee contestants will be will meet me in the library at 1230. Middle school uh, Spelling Bee contestants will meet me at 130 in the library, and that will be today. Make sure you bring your media release form if you have already not done so. Hey, on Monday, we have no school. And I'm sure you know why. Listen to this. We all play a role in shaping society, but some people truly have changed history. Martin Luther King Jr. is a perfect example. He dedicated his life to peacefully fighting racism and promoting equality during the civil rights movement. His powerful words continue to resonate and are relevant today. And we honor his birthday and we celebrate that annually on the third Monday in January. Uh, just a couple things about Martin Luther King Jr. that you might not have known. Um, 
he went to college at age 15. He was able to skip two grades in high school. Um, he went to college and, and he, he went for several things, but one of them was to be a preacher and he was a great, great orator. Um, he, while, while protesting for civil rights, was arrested more than 25 times. And I did not know this, but he had survived previous assassination attempts, uh, attempts on his life. So what a great legacy he left, what a great man, and what a great message. So I'd like you to keep that in mind uh, while you enjoy your Monday off of school. Um, and I believe our uh, announcers are going to close us out with a, a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Girls. Um, our quote is, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Okay. Tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcat news. Have a great day, Whitman Wildcats. We will see you around the building. If you never try, you'll never know.